the European Parliament takes uh, uh, this information very seriously. Mm, discussions about migration, as you just said, are very polarized. Often uh, some of these narratives appeal to, to emotions, appeal to, to feelings like fear, like uh, anger, uh, and they can be really uh, overwhelming, uh, making uh, critical thinking uh, on people uh, more more difficult. Uh, with this information, even if the first normal natural reaction is uh, to take these narratives or these misinformed pieces and, and share them to say that they are fails, that um, they are not uh, uh, true, uh, in fact research shows that one of the best ways to counter this information is, uh, is to promote correct and, and factual information instead of uh, drawing more attention to uh, to myths uh, by by publicly uh, trying to, to to debunk them. So, uh, what do we do in in Parliament? We we provide factual uh, information in all languages. We communicate effectively on very polarizing topics. This is essential in an institution like the European Parliament, where there is a constant, lively uh, debate on a, on a wider range of topics and with uh, lots of different uh, political points uh, of view. We are especially active in providing the media with, uh, with quick, with reliable, with factual uh, information, providing tools so that they can cover uh, EP uh, activities uh, and decisions. And of course, we also cooperate with uh, other institutions, especially the European Commission uh, and the European External Action Service, also with uh, partner organizations and with uh, uh, civil uh, society mm. members are also uh, taking a strong stand in denouncing, in suggesting uh, measures to counter uh, this information, uh, including increasing the budget of the EU European External Action Service that I just mentioned, uh, because they have a very uh, good, useful anti-disinformation uh, uh, team. And MEPS, uh, MEPs, also stand uh, ready to, to scrutinize any possible legislative proposal uh, as soon as they are uh, suggested by, by the Commission. Cooperation and, and common work is essential, especially with uh, phenomena such as uh, migration, which go beyond uh, one specific country. Uh, governments and institutions need to be in, in touch and, and work together. And they have to provide citizens and media with uh, sources of uh, quality, uh, trustworthy uh, information that people can rely on and, and of course go uh, when they need to, to check the, 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 the truthfulness and the, the trust of uh, the information they might come across that might not be factual. Maybe let me come with an example. Let's say a citizen sees um, something suspicious shared on social media. Uh, that citizen needs to, to know where to go uh, to check if this is uh, true. They need to know what sources are uh, all uh, at their disposal to find factual data, uh, to find uh, information. And for this uh, uh, to work, it's, uh, uh, the work is essential. Uh, to be done also in coordination with uh, governments, with institutions, partner organizations, uh, civil society, all uh, have to, to work uh, together. I think it's crucial. I think uh, for any kind of communication is, of course, always better to communicate with people you want to reach in, in their languages as much as, uh, as possible. Uh, for the European Parliament, this is, this is a must, since it's a, a democratic institution and citizens have the right to receive information uh, in, in their own uh, language. In regarding a topic like migration, specifically migration in the Mediterranean, I believe that it's 
equally important to, to embrace multilingualism as much as possible, offering citizens and offering to the media the possibility uh, to communicate in their languages, especially those uh, of, the, of the countries uh, uh, involved. I would say the same as for anyone trying to communicate nowadays. Uh, first of all, probably the most important thing is uh, to listen to your audience, what topics they are interested in, so you can uh, address them, uh, keep learning every day, um, cooperate, share good practices uh, with other communicators in, in other institutions. We are not competing, uh, we are helping each other. Um, you can do a great job in on your own, of course, but you will go, in my opinion, you will go much further uh, cooperating with, uh, with others. Nowadays, communication changes very, very quickly, and you need to be uh, ready to, to adapt to the, to the new ways of uh, consuming uh, information. I mean, 10 years ago, it would have sound strange to think that uh, institutions like the European Parliament would be communicating on Instagram, for example, or, or Snapchat, or who knows, maybe uh, TikTok in the future. But um, that's where people are, and you need to be uh, able to, to, to adapt the information, of course, always respecting quality, uh, respecting facts, but to adapt uh, to, to the platforms and to the new ways of uh, consuming uh, uh, information. Every, every channel has its own specifications, uh, its own audience, and you need to know these audiences uh, uh, well, but um, all of them are important and all of them respond to, to a need when you want to, to succeed in, in putting a, a message out there. I think uh, there you need uh, uh, to take time. It's uh, true that in these last years we have been experiencing this uh, kind of competition between uh, media, but not only media, the institutions themselves, uh, to, be, uh, uh, to be good in, in breaking news. And breaking news can be, of course, uh, uh, useful from a professional point of view, but the danger of uh, being uh, too fast in trying to inform people is that sometimes uh, accuracy is not, uh, is not behind. I think that it's much better when you take some time to uh, really check the information that you are receiving, the information that you are going to, to spread, uh, to talk to several sources, uh, not to be impressed by the fact that there is someone saying or trying to say these same things uh, before you, because at the end it's a question of trust. Uh, and if you are trusted, you will be the real source. If uh, citizens are comparing what uh, they receive from sources they don't trust and with sources they really trust, being in this case yourself, uh, they will be uh, in some way uh, behind you. Uh, they will uh, become in some way uh, federalized by what you are doing and, and your, uh, your input will be much better than, than, than what others will, will try or will, will get.